Hello, hi. Thank you very much. Hello, uh, my name is Henry. Uh, I am a balding man. <laughs> yep. I've done what we all do eventually, which is shave it close, make it look like a decision. <laughs> yes, I'm also growing the compensatory facial hair. <laughs> what this is saying is, I can make hair. <laughs> I've got no problem with the manufacturing, just the distribution. <laughs> yep, I'm also developing this, the, uh, the middle-aged fat band. <laughs> starting to emerge here, it's getting bigger every day. It's quite depressing, it's the first thing I see when I wake up. <laughs> the only good thing about it um, is that uh, because of its positioning, um, it doesn't affect my trouser size. Just quite a nice boost. It means I, I, I'm still living a trouser lie. I still get to wear 34 inch trousers, the same trousers I bought when I was 16. I can still proudly go to the shop. Yes, thank you very much. We'll have another little pair of 34 trousers. Thank you, yes. I'll just slip on those little 34 trousers. Thank you very much. Lovely. Fold this over the top. And I'll be on my way in my skimpy little 34 trousers. Thank you. Yes, I'm becoming middle-aged, and my friends are becoming middle-aged, and uh, they're starting to do things that middle-aged people do. For example, a friend of mine recently moved to the country, and uh, I went to visit him in the country, and as far as I can tell, the country has driven my friend completely mad. <laughs> I know he's gone mad because on the first day, I was sitting in his cottage, having a lovely time watching television, right? And my friend walked in, and he said something which made absolutely no sense. He said, Henry, uh, I hope you've brought your uh, walking shoes. <laughs> I thought, I mean, is there any other kind? <laughs> I would argue that if your shoes aren't walking shoes, they're socks. <laughs> anyway, I went for a walk with my friend, right? He took me for a walk. And it, the walk was the most fabulously dull thing that has ever happened to me. The walk was so dull that my friend had to keep offering me these shit incentives. He'd say things like, it's all right, Henry, in, uh, in 45 minutes, when we get to the top of that hill, um, I'm going to crack open the thermos. Hmm? Yeah, I'm going to have a cup of tea. <laughs> mm. Now, a lot of the time, I can't be bothered to walk to the kitchen <laughs> for a cup of tea. I've got to walk up a mountain for tea from a lid. <laughs> this is the lid of thermos tea that you end up handing round like a sort of depressing middle-aged spliff. <laughs> yeah, 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 try that. Yeah, 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 it's good shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's 100% uncut Tetley's, yeah. Yeah, I get it from this man I know who hangs around in um, uh, Sainsbury's, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, we reached the pinnacle of the walk, right, which was the view. My friend was standing proudly surveying this view. He said, Henry, isn't it fantastic? And I looked out over the view and I thought, yeah, well, I mean, there is quite a lot of this sort of stuff available online. <laughs> he said, Henry, no, 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 it's fantastic, Henry. He said, Henry, check this out, Henry. Henry if you look really hard in the distance, Henry, you're going to love this. Right? Look really hard in the distance, yeah? You can just see the cottage. <laughs> yeah, I had an excellent view of the cottage three hours ago. I was inside the cottage. I could see it in detail. I could interact with it. They've also got tea there in a mug. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was Henry Packer. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Goodbye.